What's up you guys? It's your girl Nicole Faye and welcome back to another juicy video. As you guys can see by the title, today we are getting a little deep, okay? So I'm gonna need you to roll out that Kleenex and that notepad, all right? Because I'm about to give you some tips on how to achieve the life you know you deserve. A lot of these tips that I have for you guys today are tips that really did help me achieve what I wanted in life. I never really gave my backstory on here on like how I like came up you know, just, you know, how everything just came about. You know, I don't want to make it too long because I don't want you to use all your tissue. But basically, in so many words, I have been doing YouTube for five years consecutively, okay? I have never missed a year. And 2022 was like my breakthrough when I finally, like, got some momentum on my channel and when my TikTok just kind of just blew up. 2021 was a really, really hard year for me. And with these five or six tips that I have to give to you guys today, these tips really did help pivot me in the direction to really, you know, push myself and motivate me forward to like really achieving everything I want, all right? And if you remember from me like back in the day, like 2019 or like you were here before this channel blew up, girl, okay, you... Okay, because you've been here a long time. Um, but I appreciate every single one of you guys who have supported this journey. So enough, okay, because I'm a crier, all right? It's, it's, I, I come on my cycle in a couple days. I don't even want to start, all right? So let's get into tip number one. All right, so tip number one is blocking outside noise. So when I was going through what I was going through back in 2021, just feeling like I was a loser. You know, I really, really wanted this channel to blow up. I was really, really passionate about being a content creator. And I was just so eager to, you know, just have views and all the subscribers and all the numbers and things like that, that I just, I wasn't appreciating what I had at the moment because I was so focused on trying to get there instead of just appreciating where I was now. So I feel like what really, really helped me when I just like deleted my channel and I just wanted to start fresh was just deleting all of my social media. So I feel like a lot of people have this conversation on TikTok or just, I see a lot of people have this conversation, but I feel like the direction is focused wrong, but I don't feel like it's healthy to delete those platforms if you just like want to, you know, you don't want your high school or grammar school friends to know where the you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not the way we want to do it, okay? And I have been there before when, I, especially when I was starting my content creation journey, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't want people from high school or like fifth grade to look at me and be like, what the trying to get famous like I feel like that's how people were viewing me back then but I I completely just had to let that go and like I said when I deleted my social medias and just the outside noise and whatever outside noise looks like to you whether that's I don't know you're hanging out with the wrong crowd or you have a bad addiction to something which is either drinking smoking or partying too much whatever blocking out the outside noise is to you to help you focus and really really narrow down what you want do it okay because that is what really really helped me like I said in the end of 2021 when I was really going through I deleted all my social medias and I just focused so when you're in a state of trying to focus on you and trying to better your mental health you do not need to be comparing yourself at the moment or looking at other people's lives to make you feel worse so please whatever blocking out that outside noise is to you do it because that is going to help for you to narrow down what you want to achieve i know you hear from everyone and their mother go to therapy go to therapy go to therapy I know it's exhausting okay let me tell you I've been in therapy for two years but before I started therapy back in 2021 when I was just going through and my best friend was like girl you need therapy I don't even know what the f say to you anymore okay what you're going through I can't help you all right <laughs> facts facts so but when she told me that I was like girl I don't need therapy I'm not crazy <gasps> oh my gosh like why did I used to think that way that is so wrong <laughs> But yeah, I used to think therapy was for like crazy people until I got into therapy and it just like blew my mind on how much I did not know I was doing in my life because of childhood trauma or past pain that I've been through. So when I blocked out the outside noise and I started to really narrow down what I wanted, I knew that I had to really look within and really deep dive and focus on what 
what I was like, get my emotions in order because I feel like a lot of your emotions, your anxiety is really the reason what is blocking you from getting there. So once you fix whatever it's holding you back or whatever is holding you back in your mind, it'll help you have a more clearer vision once you handle those emotions first. So I really, 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 really highly suggest therapy now. I am a therapist activist now because I've been in therapy for two years and it's really, really changed my life. And I started therapy, like I said, I started therapy in the beginning of 2022 and I have just been doing it ever since and I absolutely love it so I definitely definitely suggest therapy look into it and just try it okay don't give up if you don't find the right therapist the first time keep looking for it because I'm telling you once you clear your mind up here you'll be able to see better I'm gonna leave it there all right third tip now this tip I hate to say because let me just say it before I go into a rant not telling anyone I know, I know, it's so hard. When you're excited about something or when you have a vision or a dream or a business that you wanna start, because you're so excited, you are so excited to share it with everyone. Like, oh my gosh, girl, I just thought of the best thing to do to you know, make my life better. When I was trying to get my channel off the ground or when I was starting TikTok again, I didn't say anything to anybody that people really aren't happy for you that the way you are happy for yourself, you don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work. When I was starting off my TikTok and when I was re restarting my YouTube channel, this channel, I didn't know if it was gonna work. You know, I was so devastated that for the past five years that nothing has worked or it wasn't working how I wanted to work that I was just like, you know what? Instead of me going around telling everybody my vision and what I wanna do and what I want my future to look like and what I wanna achieve, I just wanna keep this to me and just work on it in private. And I just feel like me personally, that's just the best way to do things. You don't have to be embarrassed if things don't pick up for you the way you want it to because you done went around and told everybody in town and then when <laughs> don't work out for you, people coming up to you and asking you, girl, what happened with this thing the 30? You're like, um, oh, it didn't work. And then you're embarrassed, right? You know, Or you're sad or, you know, like, no, ew, who wants to feel like that? So I just highly suggest you just, shh, just zip it, lock it, Throw away the f***ing key and just work on it in silence, okay? Because like I said, not only is evil eye real, but you don't know what is the outcome. You don't know what the outcome is, you know? So it's just best if you just keep it to yourself and focus and work on it. You don't want outside, a and oh, this is a really big one. Oh, before we even move on. Another reason why you don't want to just like go out and tell people about it is because you don't want other people's outside opinions. You don't want other people's negatives projection to ruin your vision or your dream. And trust me, Okay, once you start spilling to everybody what you want to do with your life and what you want to achieve, their negative perceptions on themselves and their world will project onto you. Okay, you do not want that energy on you. When you are trying to achieve something, you want positivity. So that's what I'm saying. Keep it to yourself and, and lock in. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Okay, so for the fourth tip, after you've blocked out the outside noise, after you're in therapy, after you've kept it to yourself, now it's time to have a plan and have a clear plan. Not just a plan just in your head of like, oh, I'm gonna do this, do it. No, write your plan down, okay? Now it's time to really come up with a legit plan on how you're going to get there to achieve what you want, all right? When 2022 rolled around in the beginning of 2022, I was like, okay, me and my boyfriend were about to move into this this place and I was like okay so when I move into my my place that's coming up I'm gonna start off my TikTok this is what I'm gonna do on my TikTok I already knew the type of niche I wanted to be in what content I was gonna do how many videos I was gonna put up a day I had a plan and then I was like okay then I'm also gonna repurpose my TikTok content onto my YouTube shorts that was my plan so when I moved here back in 2022 I started my TikTok and I just kept going from there but you need a legit plan and make sure the plan is is legible the right word? No, legible is not the right word. I think legible means when you can fully read something. What is the word I'm trying to say? I don't know. Um, it, it it lost me. When you have a clear plan, it's easier to execute than you just being all over the place and not knowing where to start. So just make sure your plan it is, oh, that's what I wanted. Make sure your plan is doable. Like, you know you can do the task. It's not too big of an expectation from you that you know you're not gonna keep up with. That's really important. And just make sure it's easy for you to do and you know you're going to be able to do it. All right. So 
Now that we have blocked out the outside noise, we have done therapy, we have kept it to ourselves, we have got a plan. Now we put that all in, in into the works. You know what I'm saying? And now we have to make sure we're making progress, okay? Now this is like the biggest tip out of like all the five tips. Therapy is also important as well. But this tip is like what really is important, okay? I feel like so many people focus on consistency and consistency is important, don't get me wrong, okay? It's extremely important to be consistent because how are you gonna achieve the things you want if you're not doing it every day, okay? But you need to make sure just because you're being consistent, you need to make sure you're making progress, okay? The work that I am putting out there or what I'm trying to achieve, is it working, okay? Because I feel like, to be honest, I have been in therapy a long time, so I can take accountability, all right? Not all the time, but most of the time. I had to really sit there and say to myself, like, okay, I have been doing YouTube for five years. It's, it's not because it's not working because everybody hates me. What am I doing wrong? What is not working that I'm doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I mean. Like you need to make sure it's quality over quantity. It doesn't matter how many videos you put out or, or how many times you do something or how consistent you keep up with something. If it's not working, we gotta revamp. Okay, we gotta revamp our plan. We gotta revamp the, 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 the schedule, okay? Cause something ain't working in the plan and we ain't making no progress. Because then you'll look up and you'll be doing the same thing for five years like I was, okay? Yeah, you, you don't wanna do that, all right? So you wanna make sure progress Consistency is key, but also progress is too. So make sure you are making progress in what you're doing. So those five tips are the tips that really did help achieve what I desired and wanted in life. You know, on this account, I am always pushing products in your face and telling you about skincare and makeup and hygiene. And I love to talk about it, but we have to remember self-care is more than just a face mask, okay? Self-care starts from the inside before the outside, all right? That sounds cringy, but it's true, all right? Write it down, put it up on your wall, get it tattooed, because that is a great quote, okay? Um, but I really hope you guys really did love these tips. Like I said, these tips really, really help push me to get in everything I wanted and desire and really help motivate me to really start again. So let me know in the comments, you guys, if you guys really love these tips. Let me also know in the comments if you guys have any more tips to give to everybody or just like how to achieve your dream life. Remember 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029, 2020, 2010, 2011, 2020. All those years is your year, okay? It's never too late to start over and it's never too late to go after what you really want, okay? So this is not a New Year's resolution. If you're watching this right now, I don't care what day, time, or month it is, it's your time to start, all right? You can do it, all right? I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow my social medias. Uh, follow my Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. You know, I be on Snap sometimes, not that much, but you know, I'm trying to get that back started, all right? So make sure you follow that social media account too. I love you guys so much again, and I will see you guys next video. Bye.